Hey everybody, uh, we're back here in our 1940 old house that is built with post and beam. Up on top here, you see that big beam going across? And right here we have that thicker one right there. That's a post. And we have one in the middle, we have one on the end, and we have one on that end. I went ahead and I uh, replaced the bottom beam, or uh, sill plate in this case, this one, long one here. In order to do that, I had to uh, jack up the house to get that out. Uh, there's actually another uh, post uh, somewhere in this vicinity over there. So we got this one here, and that post is sitting on top of this rotted sill plate. And if you look, it's pretty rotted like that i only have the plywood there uh because we opened up the house there and you know that helped close it up from the weather uh but i left the strip down knowing that i was going to get to this so if you could look you can see that's kind of crushed it's crushing down and what's happening the floor inside is not level and the only one way to really do that is to lift this post up now initially, this was all filled with concrete. Remember watching, not concrete, uh, brick. Uh, you could see some brick up on the top there even. So we had to take all that brick out, which was an, a godly amount of weight. Back in the day, that's what they used for insulation. Uh, but wow, I mean, we're talking a ton, a ton, many tons of brick. So now that we got the weight off, we can go in this side. I went ahead and I made this bracket. This is a bunch of steel welded it all together. Uh, got a couple holes and we got a plate uh, that we're going to put on the inside with these, uh, these bolts are going to go, go through it. And then I'm going to put a uh, bottle jack under it and then lift it up. Bom, bom, bom. Lucky enough, the ground is nice and frozen here. So right now we got to drill some nice holes in here. So let me go ahead and get those hills, holes drilled and show you what we can do. In case you didn't know, it's like three degrees over here, upstate New York. Well, I got uh, a block under it, a uh, block on top. I'm not so sure how this one's gonna, it's pretty strong wood, but uh, you know what? What the heck? I'm gonna start jacking it. Probably hear a lot of cracking. Might even blow this one apart, but we'll see. What I'm looking for is things to start going up. Uh, Let's give it a try. See what breaks first. Oh, I can hear things moving. Quicky cracky. Gonna, that's gonna break apart. See it now. Kind of thought it was, and it is. Yeah, <laughs> I can see through it now. <sighs> yeah, got an awful lot of pressure on it. Yeah. <sighs> gonna need something uh, better than this. I kind of thought so, or a couple of them on top. A big chunk of steel would be nice. Uh, unfortunately, because of the floor inside, I couldn't get much lower with this. Um, so we're going to have to see, because we're going to have to get that up. And even a lot of times, you start jacking these up and you got a lot of pressure on it. In an old house like this, 
it's best just to leave a lot of pressure on it and come back uh, the following day or a couple days and things will start to uh, bend the other way up on top to start moving uh, on their on their own because you have the pressure on it uh, instead of giving it so much pressure that things break uh, that's exactly what I had to do further down the line there but we really do want to get this out now if you look I show you here see right here all right, this is mortised out here all all down the, the line here those are your floor joists which are, again are big uh, three by nine uh, uh, floor joists beams really that are running over running through that uh, I had to go and replace quite a few of them on the other side here and I know this one for sure has to be replaced because all the weight that was on it on the foundation has really and it had rotted out a little bit uh, and this rot mainly is because uh, the concrete they had going against it uh, for years uh, of course you know this whole house they never did anything right on this house so let me see if I can find another piece there I don't think so because all the snow and ice we got All right, that's an awful lot of pressure. You can see it's bending my bracket just a little bit there. Um, I'm gonna go inside and see what it's done. Ah, oh, boy. Normally in my videos, I like to show you everything uh, step by step, but this video was mainly uh, just to show you how you can uh, jack up the uh, main post here to relieve the pressure off of this bottom uh, actually it's a bottom sill plate just a huge one back in 1840 made out of oak now you can see this one here I still have to uh, replace but that's just gonna be a matter of uh, supporting the floor joist from underneath and cutting it out where this one here had the uh, the big post coming down and that was a lot of weight which goes straight up to the top there. Not in a crazy amount of weight, but enough to cause a problem. And that's what was happening. This was rotted out here pretty good. Uh, and that was sagging down, which in turn makes the whole floor of the house sagging down. So now that's all straight. And I'll go inside and I'll show you just uh, a level how that uh, really imp improved that. So now it's got to uh, remove that one and blah, 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 blah. So let's go inside and show you the level.
Okay, back inside here. Uh, here's our, our one post that I did uh, a couple months ago and I replaced that whole bottom plate. But now we had to go and do this, the rest of it. And right here is that, uh, that post right here that we were jacking up. And it was making this whole thing really sag. It was like that, really bad. Or, or better yet, it was like that. Uh, here you look at that level and it shows uh, nice and level. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, I hope you got an idea how to um, lift a house with this this type of old post and beam setup. Not my normal video that I like showing step by step. And I don't even think I was in this video. That's because I'm all alone. Anyway, uh, have fun.